Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Here I have my experimental printer that I'm working on. This is a very fast CoreXY DIY printer that I've been playing around with. Essentially, this is the guts of one of my simple core printers, my smaller 200 build. Um, I wanted to just try out some things that I've been learning over the past uh, year or so here designing printers and I've seen this before um, using carbon rods here for the X. There's a YouTube channel Tech2C. He did this a long time ago. I don't I think maybe 2016 or something like that or, or definitely a very long time ago. Um, I know the new Bamboo Labs X1 is coming out with carbon rods on their X. And I just kind of wanted to try it out for myself. So I really quickly put together the lightest X carriage I possibly could. This doesn't even have a um, hot end cooling fan. There's literally no fans on this carriage whatsoever. And um, my, my revision for this, it will have, of course, a 30 millimeter a hot end fan. It's generally... Uh, Recommended. I mean, this does print fine without. However, super long prints or higher temperatures definitely will not work without a hot end fan. I have put together some really, really janky um, cooling on the side just using some pewter fans, which definitely are not the greatest. You can see I have a 140 millimeter on this side and 120 on this side. They do have sufficient cooling. Um, I can actually print a Benchy on this printer in about 23 minutes and it's acceptable, which I think is pretty impressive. I'm actually printing this uh, model here at 0 0.16 layer height at 150 millimeters wall speed, 100 millimeters infill and 600 millimeters travel. This printer is printing at 10,000 acceleration and it's very, very stable because there's literally no weight on the X carriage. I learned a lot here on my large simple core here, the 300 size. The X on this printer is so heavy. This 2020 extrusion and the linear rail and all of this here adds so much weight to the printer. The inertia just shakes the pin printer around if you're printing really fast. So. This little tiny printer here can print so much faster because of the weight. I know Clipper has input shaper and stuff like that, but the less weight you can get rid of, the better. And the X on this is insane light. I'm not even using um, actual bearings. I'm using IGIS plastic um, bushings that weigh literally nothing. Like. I couldn't, I don't think I could make the X lighter on this printer and the amount of inertia that this thing has, you can print so fast and the printer doesn't move. I'm also running closed loop stepper motors here. So I'm running just the closed loop steppers on the X and the Y or the A and B motors just to make sure the printer is perfect as possible. They won't skip steps. They're very, very quiet, low vibration. Um, and I only needed two of them and it worked out perfectly. I essentially built this this printer here using scraps, uh, leftover parts. I'm pretty sure the only thing I ordered for this printer was a Fetus Rapido hot end. And that's it. I'm using old like Crowley motors, one Crowley motor, another like 60 millimeter stepper on the bottom. I'm using some Moons motors. I actually have this printer using two boards. So there's a old 8-bit MKS 1.4 and then I have an SKR Mini down at the bottom. So I'm running two main boards on this. It's of course running Clipper. And like I say, 10,000 acceleration. It probably could go to 20,000. I'm still experimenting but I'm having a, a lot of fun messing around with this printer and trying different things. So I think I might do a big update and design a uh, kind of a big revision for this type of printer. I'm thinking about building a frame out of 2040 extrusions 
and maybe changing how the Z mounts. It's still gonna have a three point Z. Uh, all the Z is gonna be the same. I'm thinking about going to 10 millimeter belts across the board. Um, I wanna make the frame nice and heavy. Not so much like crazy rigid. It, it will be rigid, but I, in my opinion, the more rigid the frame, the more vibration that actually gets into the frame. So I want a nice heavy frame that sits very, very um, stout and doesn't flail around a lot if you're printing at very, very high speeds. You know, it's definitely possible on this printer to print at 300 millimeters a second, 600 millimeters a second travel and be uh, not having the printer kind of like move around and stuff like that. I do have this sitting on my floor just so I don't have a table moving around or anything like that. But like I say, the, the weight of this printer is so low. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show people what I've been working on, um, things I'm playing with. This has been a lot of fun for me. I really do like the idea of these carbon rods. They're super cheap. I think one rod is like $6. Um, and then I had these Aegis bushings. I've had them for like a year and a half. I was gonna make a printer with them a long time ago and I never did. So it just made sense to me. Everything kind of worked out. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what people think about this printer. Um, definitely please feel free to comment below. Um, ideas for a name for this printer. Any other ideas that you think might be cool to integrate into this printer? I definitely kind of want to maybe flesh this out a little bit more. I do have some ideas on my Discord. I've kind of made an experimental printer channel. It's kind of for this printer. Um, I'm toying with the idea of making a Sherpa Mini or LGX Mini mount for this using a really tiny, like little tiny uh, pancake stepper, of course. It will add a little bit of weight. And right now this printer, like the X carriage, literally weighs as little as possible. I don't think there is a lighter X carriage that I could design for this. So again, um, this thing is just awesome as far as print speed. It's super quiet too. I'm also trying to balance speed and quiet, speed and noise. Um, some of you may know I do have a Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon on order. I back them on Kickstarter should be here near the end of July, uh, early August type thing. And I do wanna compare it to this printer more so like um, noise wise. I really don't like loud printers. I have all my printers here in my office and I can't have a jet engine running behind me while I'm trying to work type thing. So this to me is a very perfect balance of speed and also noise. And honestly, like this printer just prints very, very well right away. And I haven't even really spent a whole lot of time tuning this printer. This does have clicky support right out of the gate. So I don't have a dock or anything yet, but it does have a clicky mount on the back. You can kind of see there right behind the tool head. And uh, yeah, like I say, so far this printer is printing really well. Um, I scaled this model down just to play around. This is a tiny printer only about 150 by like 180 build size right now, but I would like to design a 250 by 250 printable printer based on uh, this kind of idea. Ultra light axe carriage, uh, the three point bed leveling, fully integrated clicky probe, um, closed loop steppers for the A and B motors and just ultra fast and do it yourself. So again, thanks everyone. Please comment below. I'm very curious about feedback on this printer and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.